So the signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer uh, can, can kind of range. There's lower back pain, there's bloating of the stomach. Uh, it can be really subtle, like mine. I had a low, uh, low grade cancer, or so slow growing cancer, I should call it. So it was really, um, really hard to detect. And it's actually falls under a lot of symptoms as if you were having your period. So, um, you know, th that thing is, the thing is you have to really listen to yourself. Um, the symptoms can go unnoticed for quite some time because it is called the silent killer. Um, ovarian cancer is very rarely detected before stage three. And um, if we can get you guys in and get yourself checked out as soon as possible, it's, your chances are way better. I knew something wasn't right when I experienced a lot of pain in my lower stomach, my lower back. Uh, I knew something wasn't right when I went for CT scans and they told me that they couldn't see my ovaries and uh, you know they they didn't really have an answer for me so I didn't want to stop until I until I found that answer to my questions of feeling terrible you know pretty much 24 7 and the pain only got worse so do you have any words of encouragement for people that are going through this? Um, one thing I have to say is that I encourage people to stay positive, to do something every day that makes them feel good, to go out for walks, to do as much as they can in order to help the help the situation basically and to um, I encourage you to just live happily and just kind of take this as a bump in the road and to keep on going. I knew something wasn't right uh, when I experienced stomach pain that was just constant and never ending. I had bloating of my stomach, my lower stomach, uh, my lower back was always in pain and uh, yeah I just knew something wasn't right because I'm 25 years old I should feel fine. I was able-bodied and um, I knew that I had to kind of keep on pursuing to find out what was wrong exactly, whether it be a cyst or whether it be something worse. Uh, my doctors weren't as persistent as I was, unfortunately, uh, just because this is a type of cancer that isn't really diagnosed in such a young age um, of women, so I knew that, well, I think it was more more me just pursuing what was wrong. They, the only person that can tell you just how bad you feel is yourself, you know, and the only way that you're gonna get a resolution is if you keep on going, keep on pushing for results, and um, I wasn't gonna stop until I felt better.